Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making roasted tomato soup. This is definitely a childhood favorite and something I still crave when it's cold. To start this dish, we need three pounds of tomatoes. It does not matter what kind, just as long as they're ripe. So for my Camparis, I am cutting them in half. I actually ended up cutting them into quarters because you want to remove as much of the seeds as possible. For my grape tomatoes, I'm just going to cut these in half. I'm not going to try to remove the seeds. Don't forget to take off that stem end. And again, just chop a chop into quarters and push out as many of the seeds as you possibly can. I also have this big boy tomato that I'm going to cut into eight pieces just to keep these even-ish. And this is the last one. Just chopping that up and removing the seeds and you can see how many seeds are in three pounds worth of tomatoes and I had this fantasy of I had a backyard of just throwing all those seeds back there and waking up to a tomato jungle. So we're also going to need one whole head of garlic leaving the skin on. We're just going to cut this in half horizontally because we want this to roast with our tomatoes. You should be preheating your oven to about 400 degrees right now. Not about you should be preheating it to 400 degrees. Last but not least, I have one large white onion. You can use Vitalia as well. You just want a sweet onion. We're just going to peel off all the skin. But you want to leave the root end on because it's just going to help make your life easier. And we're just going to chop each chop this up into nice, even-ish slices. It doesn't have to be perfect since this is going to be roasting and getting all tender and beautiful. So I just have a deep baking dish. I've layered everything in here. And we're going to sprinkle this with two tablespoons of a good olive oil. Then we're going to sprinkle on a half of a teaspoon of sugar. This is going to bring out that inherent sweetness of the tomatoes and the onions because onions tend to get sweeter as they cook down. We're also going to add in two teaspoons of kosher salt and a teaspoon and a half of freshly ground black pepper. And we're going to roast this in the oven for 45 minutes and it's going to get juicy and roasty and melty and beautiful. While our tomatoes are roasting, I'm going to prep my cheese for grilled cheese because grilled cheese and tomato soup go hand in hand. I'm not going to show you how to make the grilled cheese. Everyone has done it at some point in their life. I'm using a mixture of Gouda and I'm also going to add American cheese. Say what you want about American cheese, but it is nice and melty. There is a big controversy about using mayonnaise or butter on your bread as well. I prefer mayonnaise, but use whatever you've grown up eating and what you're used to. Now it's been 45 minutes. We need to take out our tomatoes and look how beautiful and juicy these are. We're going to let this cool down while we prep the rest of the ingredients, but we do need to squeeze out our garlic. Just be careful because it is hot. At this point, the garlic has sweetened up. It's gotten all beautiful and smooshy. You could just smear this on a nice baguette and it would be perfect. It's just going to add another beautiful dimension in our soup of flavor. So over medium heat in a large pot, I am adding a tablespoon and a half of olive oil, a half of a teaspoon of chili flakes, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of smoked paprika and one tablespoon of tomato paste. If you don't want a spicy soup, because this does lend itself to be a little spicy, just leave out the cayenne, but definitely use the chili flakes. It's going to add another layer into your soup. We're going to cook this for about a minute just until this all becomes fragrant before we add in two and a half cups of vegetable broth. We're going to stir this around and make sure all the tomato paste is melted in and let this simmer for about two minutes. Next goes in a half of a cup of basil. And all of our vegetables that we've roasted. Pour in as much of that juice as possible as well because that is just flavor. 
We're going to give this a little stir and let all those flavors combine and come together. I almost forgot we need a little thyme, so I'm just pulling off the leaves and adding that into our soup as well. You could use whatever herbs you like. If you like oregano, tarragon, add that in. It's completely up to you. We're going to give this a stir and let it simmer for another five minutes. It gives this a little taste for seasoning. And this is perfect. Now we're going to go in with a stick blender and start blitzing up our soup. You could also do this in a stand blender or your food processor. Just make sure your soup is cooled down a little bit. So you can see the color has changed. It's gotten nice and beautiful and light. We haven't added any cream. We're going to give this one last taste for seasoning before we place it in our favorite bowl and garnish with a little basil leaf. Now let's give this a taste. The tomatoes are sweet and just a little acidic and rich. There's an umami to this that is just so beautiful. Now we're going to go in with our grilled cheese and look at that cheese bowl. This is perfect. Give this a little dip. You taste the onions. You taste all the spices. This is a spicy soup if you're adding the cayenne in there. And this is comforting, warm, and delicious. But there it is, roasted tomato soup with grilled cheese. I hope you all try to make it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you loved it, subscribe and hit that notification bell because I put out new videos every Thursday. Thank you again. Happy holidays. And until next time, happy cooking. I don't know if this bugs anyone else, but tomatoes, they should be juicy. I get it, but they are messy.